Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, we are going to see connecting files in a folder in Power BI Desktop. So far what we have seen is that we can import a single CSV file, an Excel file or a access database file. At that time we used to just import one single file. But let's take for an example that in a folder I have bunch of files and I want to import them at one time. So what we can do? Yes, Power BI, BI gives you an opportunity of importing this file at one go. But we have to make sure that all the files in this folder should have the same schema or the same format. Then only it will be able to import those files or else it will cause an error. Now Power BI Desktop can deal with this multiple files in a very efficient way in such a way that it understands its extension and it understands the column reordering and gets me the file in such a way that all the file in that folder will be aligned and will be imported in a very easy manner. So how to import this files in a folder, how to import it in the Power BI Desktop, we will have a better understanding of it in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to connect to a folder in Power BI. Alright, so let's get started off and see how it is done practically as well. Okay, now as you can see, this is my Power BI window. Onto my right hand side of my screen, you see all the fields that we have imported using our access database. So this is my different fields. As you can see, I have the product uh, field, I have the manufacturing field, I have the date field as well. You can see all the deleted tables uh, with that particular fields, okay? Now, onto the left-hand side of my screen, you see there are three buttons. Now, the very first button is the report button. And the moment you click on here, you can see there is a blank screen. The reason being, we have not created any of the reports as of now. We'll be creating reports in the later part of our videos using these fields, okay? Moving on to the next one is the data button. If you click on this particular button, you can see the actual data which is related to this field. So if you click on the date field, you can see the date table which is being shown up. And as of now, this is showing you 6209 rows, that is 6000 rows almost. Okay, so you can see all the data that we are going to work upon in our Power BI in this data tab. So if you have to check the data, if you want to make any kind of changes to the data, I can see from the data tab and you can make the changes using the Power Query editor. All right, so this data tab will show you the actual data that will be working on in Power BI. The very third button which you can see on the screen is the relationship button. If you click on it, you can see there are all the different fields that are being uh, pulled off using our access database and you can see there are some lines. So these lines are the relationship. Basically it is showing me that these two tables are interconnected with some relationship. Now we have not created this relationship. This uh, this relationship is being imported in the access data with the access database that we have have imported our fields from that are these fields so basically these are uh, predefined uh, relationships from the access database we'll be learning about how to create relationship and how to manage relationship in power bi as well in our later part of the videos but as of now we will focus on how to connect to a folder so we have to go under the power query editor so in order to go there i need to go to edit queries the moment I could click on edit queries, uh, the new window will come up. All right, so our Power Query editor is into picture as of now and we have to go to the new source because we have to get or import a folder. So I will click on new source and click on more. The moment I click on more, another window will pop up and I will sil simply sil select folder and hit connect. It's very simple. So this is basically ask me the folder path which you want to connect to. I will simply select browse. So we have to go to that particular location from where you have to import the folder. So I will simply go under this Power BI which we, I have created on the desktop. Okay, and I will simply hit on this international and hit OK. All right, so basically this is the path that we will be working on or, or we will be importing our folder from so I'll simply hit on OK 
Okay, so as you can see, these are the different files that is CA sales, FR sales, and MX sales. Uh, now, it can, as you can see, this is a dot .csv connection in Power BI. As we have already discussed, that it uh, is compatible with every other extension. It can be an ODBC, it can be a text file, it can be a Word file, it can be anything. And this extension is, as of now, is a dot .csv extension. That is a CSV based file and this can be seen in this extension column it is also giving me some uh, other information that when it has been accessed when it has been modified the attributes and the folder path we will be not needing all these things so I will simply hit on the edit button and as you can see the moment I click on this edit button you can see all the different uh, columns that has been created which was there in the previous window okay uh, as of now I'll be just needing the content of this table so I will remove all this uh, unnecessary columns so you simply have to right click on this column and simply click on remove other columns alright now as you can see uh, there is a content file and just next to this content you see there is a drop down button I will simply click on combine files and let's see what happens the moment I click on this combine files Another window will pop up right in front of you and it is asking you uh, about the first file that is my CS, uh, CA sales dot S, uh, CSV file and I'll simply hit on OK. Okay, now as you can see uh, this is being created. This is my uh, particular database that we have to work on work upon. All right, so this is simply the same database which is similar to our sales fact as well, which has the same number of uh, almost uh, the same column and uh, same database as well. All right, now I'll simply click on international. You can see all the related database. It has loaded as of now there are more than 999 columns you can see at the bottom of your screen okay now we what we have done uh, we have made some uh, changes to this particular database now we will go ahead and um, we can either merge the queries or we can append the queries so as of now we will go ahead and append queries so I will simply append this query with the sales fact so I'll simply click on sales fact and then go on append queries the moment I click on append queries it is asking me which table to refer to so I will click on this drop down menu and I will get to this international uh, query which can be seen out here I want to append these two queries together I will simply hit on OK now the moment you click on OK okay as you can see uh, now it is the same table but the only difference is that I have this country column and in this country column I have some null set as well okay so these are null so basically I would like to mention this and I have to rectify this ch changes so in order to do that I will go under add column and I will go to custom column itself the moment I click on custom column now you have to uh, uh, what do you say when I'm creating a custom column it's basically a column of my own condition or my own uh, desire so in order to do, do, do that we have to use a formula so let's go ahead and use a formula so I say if uh, my country uh, equals equals to as you can see uh, our country has some null into it so I want to give it a notation so I'm saying that if you can if you see I say if it is equals to null then uh, show me USA else it should be the country name all right so this is the condition that we have uh, given to it so if if i say that if it is the country it's null so sh uh, show me the result as usa or else return me the name of that particular country i'll simply hit okay the moment i hit okay another new column has been created and this is showing me the country as well so basically it's very simple if i want to uh, amend, uh, append or merge two queries we can simply go to this uh, home tab and under the home tab you can simply click on append or merge queries we'll be learning about merging queries in our later part of the videos but as of now uh, we learned how to connect to a folder and how to make the changes according to our own need I will simply remove this uh, country column and remove it and I will we will uh, be changing the name of this 
uh, the country name and I'll simply hit enter so I have this country name right in front of me and I have this table which has uh, have this folder which has been connected okay so this is very simple guys uh, it's, uh, you simply have to go under the new source and simply hit others and connect to a folder and this is how it is be done in Power BI alright hopefully you guys understood this video see you until next time